ladies and uh, gentlemen, as we discussed this morning, one of the ways in which we can support Paraguay is by offering our expertise and analysis so that the country can compare itself with other countries around the world and make better policy choices. With the financial support of the European Union, which I take this opportunity to thank again, we have started two policy reviews that complement one another. They will be discussed in detail in the next two panels, and allow me to give you a brief introduction to them. The multidimensional country review is the first of them, and it aims to support Paraguay's efforts to implement the National Development Plan for its citizens. As the review faces evolve, it will help Paraguay address specific economic, social, environmental and institutional challenges such as the diversification of the economy or boosting infrastructure investment, addressing informality, halting deforestation or improving social services. Paraguay's macro record is quite impressive amongst the highest in the region, with GDP growth expected to reach 4.1 in 2016 and 3.3 in 2017. Success in reducing extreme poverty has been remarkable from 24% in 2006 to 10% in 2014. But development goes beyond growth and income. A comprehensive strategy is needed to force the inclusive growth and sustainable improvements in well-being. Since 2013, the Development Centre has been driving multidimensional country reviews as an instrument that would inform not only individual policies, but development strategy as a whole. Bringing OECD expertise in a way that would cut through policy silos. Today, nine countries, including four Latin Americans, Uruguay, Peru, Panama, and now Paraguay, have undertaken multi-dimensional country reviews. These reviews are an important OECD tool to support the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. In the case of Paraguay, it will see the degree of alignment of the SDGs with National Development Plan, which aims to be inclusive and sustainable and puts citizens and their well-being at the centre of policies. The review will focus on the five main dimensions discussed in the SDG framework, the so-called five Ps, prosperity, people, planet, peace, partnerships. And the review's approach is Threefold. First, it will identify binding constraints to development. Second, it will develop recommendations to tackle those constraints hand in hand with our Paraguay counterparts. And third, it will devise a detailed plan to incorporate the recommendations into Paraguay's development strategy. And we do all this by harnessing best international practices captured through the OECD's peer learning process and mobilizing expertise across the OECD. Ladies and gentlemen, an efficient, transparent and modern public administration is key to translate sustained economic growth into well-being. Paraguay, as many other countries in Latin America, has been building solid democratic and economic policy institutions over the years. But at times of ongoing reforms, it is good to take a step back and look at how these institutions and their policies are working together. The Public Governance Review, which is the uh, second review which we are undertaking, aims to support ongoing reforms oriented to make the state more efficient including, as Paraguay has done, by increasing private participation in state-owned enterprises. And improving public procurement, 
as well as reforms oriented to improve integrity and transparency in the public sector, as Paraguay has done with the transparency of information law. The OECD has been carrying out public governance reviews since 2007 to provide governments with a 360-degree perspective on their performance in achieving results for people and businesses, and to identify areas in which this performance could be improved through reforms to their public administration to strengthen a country's capacity to sustain growth and improve the well-being of citizens. We have supported important public governance reforms in Latin American countries, such as Mexico, Colombia, Peru, and Costa Rica, using public governance reviews as a navigation chart. The Public Governance Review of Paraguay will focus on priority areas deemed fundamental to becoming a more open, efficient, effective, and responsive state. These relate to coordination across administrative silos led by the Center of Government, the link between budgeting and planning, multi-level governance, the government's workforce management and planning, and open government frameworks. The review process will be supported by senior practitioners from OECD member and partner countries, our peer reviewers, who have faced or are facing similar challenges so that they can engage in constructive dialogue with their Paraguayan counterparts on what works in improving results through governance reform. An advantage we have today is that both teams have already visited Paraguay and have already good knowledge of the challenges to overcome. In the next two panels, Mr. Rolf Alter, Director for Public Governance, and Mr. Federico Bonaglia, Deputy Director of the Development Center, will discuss with Paraguayan authorities and representatives of civil society alternatives to address these challenges. The peer review process is the OECD at its best, is looking at yourself in a very objective manner. It is not always easy, as the commissioning government will be seeing in that mirror, its strengths, weaknesses and challenges in designing and implementing reforms to improve citizens' well-being. The ultimate goal of the peer review process is to improve policy making, adopt and implement best practices and international standards. I hear from colleagues who were in Asuncion on their initial scoping mission for the public governance and multi-dimensional country reviews that there is an extraordinarily strong commitment on your part to the review process. This all goes well for a most fruitful collaboration that I'm sure will yield the results you want. We are delighted to be part of and support Paraguay's reform process. Please count on our support in achieving better policies for better lives.